Well, good morning, friends. How are you? It is, we did it. It is Friday morning. Woo! -hoo! Praise the Lord. Friday morning, and here we are. Love and life. June the 12th. Sunny skies. How's it get any better? Got the cup of coffee going in the in the Crater Lake mug, actually. That was a that was a fantastic park. Good morning, Gina. How are you? And good morning, Kimmy Jackson. How are you this morning? Okay, so. So Tammy and I are going camping tonight, and we're trying something a little different. Ready for this? I've got a little cast iron skillet. It's about eight inches. It's an eight-inch round cast iron skillet, and we are going to take it, and I'm going to put Hershey. I'm going to spray it with uh, Pam or butter. Haven't decided yet. I'm going to put uh, Hershey bar, break up Hershey bar, put it down in there. I'm going to put marshmallows on top, put it on the coals, put it on fire, and then dip it with either graham crackers or animal crackers. That's tonight. Woohoo! How about that? Look, kind of, kind of looking forward to that. Hey, listen. So the, here's the question for the day: How do you feel about the state of Missouri and St. Joseph completely opening up for business next uh, next Tuesday morning? Are you good with that? I mean, obviously you're happy about about moving forward for crying out loud. Are you hesitant at all? Are you concerned at? Are you leery at all? Are you ready for this? What's your thoughts on the state of Missouri and the city of St. Joseph completely opening for business? next Tuesday. What are your thoughts? Love to know what you think about that. So, yeah. Uh, Aubrey Turley says, butter. Go with the butter. Skip the, skip the spraying, spa the, 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 say that three times. Skip the spraying spray, cooking spray, and go straight with butter. You know, you may, you may be onto something there. Yep, absolutely. Hi, Tam. How are you this morning? Good morning, Terry Gann. Happy Friday morning. It's Friday morning, everybody. Joe, thank you so much. You're the first one to wish me a happy Friday morning. Thank you for that. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope you got some plans, good weekend plans. You know what? It's just going to be a it's going to be a great weekend. It's uh, the the the, uh, the weather's supposed to uh, the weather's supposed to be yeah, Reese's. I've heard putting Reese's. I've heard if you take s'mores, put Reese's in there, put uh, Oreo cookies in there. I've heard about uh, a cookie dough. I've heard put cookie dough in there. You know what I don't like about s'mores? You can never keep the candy bar and the graham cracker working together. They fight each other. They have minds of their own. You're trying to hold this thing together like a sandwich, but the dadgum thing just absolutely does not work, and that's just kind of an irritation. It's, pretty, it's a pretty sad day when you're irritated over a s'mores. Lord help me. Lord help me. Yeah, okay, a little concerned. Yeah, I hear you there, uh, Candy. I, you, know, I, I, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how, see how this whole thing moves forward. And honestly, seriously, right? Um, any, you know, you're in charge of you. You're in charge of you. And so, uh, you know, no matter what the, what the rest of the world does, uh, we learned that when we were kids. Uh, if the whole world jumps off a bridge, are you going to go jump off a bridge? No, my mother used to say. Well, anyway. Yeah, so uh, so we're reopening on Tuesday, and uh, how you feeling about that? How you how you feeling about all this? Oh, no question. Yeah, so so good. You can use Nutella also. Yes, well, yes, yes, that's true. Um, yeah, when, you know, I went camping last weekend, and I actually had Siobhan, I don't know if you've talked to your father. Went camping last weekend, and I actually uh, it was me and Tam, and the uh, actually it was Tammy and I, and the uh, and 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 Nikki and uh, and Royce and and Annie. And I actually did a test. Uh, I, I had the uh, I had the, uh, the the bucket shop. I've got the bucket shop recipe for beef burgers. Yes, yes, I do. And uh, and and the word is that Helen Connors actually improved on the recipe. So we actually did a challenge to determine. I had two. I had two skillets going. I had I had bucket shop, and I had I had. Uh, Helen Connors, and uh, yeah, and 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 we had a winner. And who was the winner? I don't know if I can tell you, but it was it was darn good. It was darn good. Okay, what do we got going on here? Uh, still going to use the mask, Patty. There you go. Absolutely, you're in charge of you. Absolutely. Nine oh three. We got a couple minutes here going, and uh, yeah, so just kind of kicking back, loving life, and uh, yeah, it's Friday. It's Friday, people. Thank the good Lord. And, uh, um, yeah, Terry, I missed what you said, but I'm glad you were just kidding because I probably would have been offended. I, I don't know that I would have been offended. But, uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Use common sense. We're going to be fine. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, good. 
All right, so, uh, okay, yeah, all right. Um, 904, and what, oh my gosh, what a great text. What a great text for us to kick off the weekend with and, and get started here and looking and seeing what's going on. Let me, let me read to you from a, uh, from a great text. In fact, here's the thing. Are you able to hear okay? Is everybody hearing okay? Huh? You're not just seeing my lips move. Uh, you're hearing okay, right? Yes, that's right. Rebecca, God is still in charge. I'm counting on that. Uh, corona, no Corona. I'm counting on, I'm counting on, I'm counting on God. I'm counting, yeah. Uh, good morning, Brad Durr. How are you this morning? Beautiful morning out here. Yeah, Brenda, how are you? Happy, happy Friday. It's Friday. If you can work, if you can work with those weasels for one more day, just one more day, you're going to get the weekend off. Okay, so we've got. Uh, I, I I had an upgrade on. Uh, I don't remember if it was my iPad, if it was my my phone, or if it was my. Uh, laptop that had an upgrade. The laptop had an upgrade. So I restarted everything this morning so that they'd be in sync and talking together. And uh, yeah, so you can hear the singing fine. Well, I'm I'm very sorry about that. But uh, yeah, okay. You can hear even without your hearing aids. Well, there you go. All right, great. Oh, fudge stripe cookies. The EL fudge cookies. Daryl like. Well, let's uh, let's pull up a text, shall we? That's what that's what we're here for. Enough of this chit chat, right? We've got work. before we go into play mode, we have work we need to do. All right. Even if Friday is your day off, it doesn't matter. You have work to do. Let's get the work done, and then we can play. Let me read to you from uh, Let me read to you from First Corinthians chapter two. I want to read a few verses. This is oh, this is good. This is rich. Paul writes to the church. He's writing to the church. He's not writing to people outside the church. This is us he's talking to. It is written, I has not seen nor ear heard nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Oh, I love that, but there's more. Wait, it gets better. But God has revealed them to us through his spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yes, deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man, ex for what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man is in him. Even so, no one knows the things of God except the Spirit of God. Now we who have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. Oh my gosh, I want to encourage you this morning. We need The Holy Spirit is not uh, an accessory to your, to your Christian life. The Holy Spirit is the component of the Christian life. You need the Holy Spirit. How do we know the things of God except the Spirit of God would dwell in us? I talked to you, talked to you earlier this week about just the idea that God is with us always. And as we walk through life, it's not that God changes as we walk through life, but, but in our need, in our change, in our adaptation to life as we mature, we find we need God in a new way. And lo and behold, there he is. And as we walk with him through this life, we begin to understand and see more of who God is because simply of his presence with us. And when Paul is talking about uh, to the Corinthians about th the purpose, the blessing, the benefit of the Holy Spirit, um, I, I just want to encourage you, the Holy Spirit is not an optional part of your life. The Christian life is not all about do's and don'ts. It's not about creeds. It's about walking with the very presence of God daily and, and not simply telling him what it is that we need, but listening to the Spirit of God, telling us what we need. And as we have this ongoing dialogue with the Lord, where we speak and where we listen. We don't monopolize the discussion, nor do we not engage in the discussion. But as we walk with the Holy Spirit of God, he's revealing himself and, and direction for us. How can we know the things of God except the Spirit of God dwell in us and bring that revelation? 
Paul said that the same spirit that rose Christ from the dead dwells in you. Bless the Lord. Let's walk with God today and, uh, and, and, and pray that he would reveal all that he has for us that we might walk in the fullness of his knowledge, of his understanding, and not simply in the wisdom of humanity. Amen? All right, let's pray together. Lord, we are grateful for a weekend. In the Jewish tradition, it is, it is, it is, um, it is when the sun goes down tonight that the Sabbath begins. And I pray for my brothers and sisters in Jesus that this would be a weekend of Sabbath rest one which the Holy Spirit of God is restoring, renewing, strengthening us, even for the challenges that will face us in the week to come. And so nevertheless, Lord, we're trusting in you. We're counting on you and praying that you would use us, that you would empower us, protect us, bless us, and strengthen us for your purpose. Reveal, O Lord, and give us eyes to see spiritual truth, and the boldness to apply it to our lives. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, this Sunday morning, bag chair Sunday in the parking lot at Grace. Uh, lather up with your, you know, lather up with this with the hand sanitizer. You're gonna want to, you're gonna want to lather up your hand, put a little under your arms, you know, uh, put it on, you know, wipe your head, kids' heads with it. Um, but it's gonna be a great time. Now you're gonna social distance, right? So your family is sitting together, but you're six feet away from the next cluster and we're gonna be able to, we, we, we've got the space, it's good. You say, oh my gosh, I like the idea. I know it's gonna be cooler. I know it's gonna be wonderful, but really I need to set in the, I need to set in the car. I just can't do the bag chair. You know what? We're gonna have we're gonna have area of the parking lot where you can sit in your car. You can turn on the uh, the FM radio and hear from there. Uh, and those of you setting up towards the front, more towards the front, in bag chairs, uh, we'll bring the sound system out this week, and you'll be able to hear. Michael Dykus and the band is going to be uh, ministering, and then uh, that's at nine o'clock. That's at nine o'clock. But we need to know you're coming, and we need to know whether you're coming in a bag chair or whether you're. Uh, what if I need to drop off my mother in the parking lot? Is she going to have to walk up that hill with a bag chair? Absolutely not. Uh, our, our Cracker Jack parking lot crew will, uh, will allow you to drive up there and you can park uh, on the other part of the lot. So uh, we think we've got the logistics figured out, although we've never done this before. But here's what's cool. The entire congregation, one service, 9 o'clock in the lot this Sunday morning. Going to be a great time. Um, Psalm chapter 93, what a powerful text. Only six verses, but uh, man, it's a great text. And then if you're not able to get out, you know what? That's absolutely, uh, that, that's absolutely reasonable. We will live stream, but we will not live stream until 1030 uh, this Sunday morning. So there you go. That's what we got. It's Friday morning. And oh my goodness, let me check. Yep, I'm officially off duty. God bless you. Talk to you later. See you Sunday morning. We're going to be okay. Christ is still on the throne.